Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to discuss about an important concept that is why vitamin B12 or folic acid deficiency leads to the condition of megaloblastic anemia. Let's try to understand the reason behind it. So first of all, both vitamin B12 as well as the folic acid, both of them are very very essential for final maturation of the RBCs. So they are very very essential for the final maturation of RBCs. What they help in formation is, both of them help in the formation of thymidine triphosphate. This thymidine triphosphate, all of us know, thymidine is one of the structure in the DNA synthesis. So basically, the DNA synthesis of the RBCs is reduced a lot. So what happens here is, there is failure of nuclear maturation as well as cell division. Now, the as and when the RBC mature, what happens is, the RBC size reduces, but here, the RBC is not getting matured, so they are left in their bigger shape. So leading on to the macrocyte, which leads on to the condition called as megaloblastic. Why it is called megaloblastic? Because of the big sizes of the RBCs. This macrocytes or the megaloblastic anemia RBCs, they also can ca carry the oxygen. Then what is the problem here? Here the RBCs are big, so they cannot navigate to the minor capillaries. What it will lead on to? It will lead on to the increased fragility of the cells, leading on to the reduced lifespan of these macrocytes, which finally leads on to the anemia. So that's what happens in case of vitamin B12 as well as folic acid deficiency. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.